Four Corners, the Dread Podcast. You have logged into Four Corners, the Dread Podcast. The Dread Podcast. Four Corners, the Dread Podcast. Four Corners, the Dread Podcast. You have logged into Four Corners. The Dread Podcast. The Dread Podcast. For Corners. The Dread Podcast.
Ever wondered about the story behind that iconic photo? Let's dive into the fascinating tale of the photo captured by Ras Albert Williams. The photo was taken outside the Goodwill Parish Hall, near the Pottersville Savannah, Potterville, Roseau, Commonwealth of Dominica, on African Liberation Day, Wednesday, May 25, 1994. The photographer, Bro Latif, captured the moment during the African Liberation Day activities that year. The photo features Rastaman preparing for a march through Roseau to People's Park, with notable figures like Marcel de Jamala Fontaine and Ras Albert Williams. The photo has been shared numerous times and is featured in Chapter 2 of Ras Albert Williams's book, Dread, Rastafari, and Ethiopia, published in 2010. Now you know the captivating story behind the photo that has left a lasting impression. In 1981, Dominica saw a deadly clash between Rastafarians and authorities, resulting in over 13 Rastafarians being shot and killed by the police. The year marked a significant turning point in the strained relationship between the Rastafari movement and the government. The uprising also involved Rastafarians in a military coup attempt, with armed Rastafarians being part of the conspirators' group. This led to further clashes with the authorities and a series of violent incidents. Several confessions related to the events emerged, including a chilling confession from Eric Joseph, who admitted to shooting a prominent figure. The year 1981 became the deadliest year for the Rastafari movement in Dominica. That uh, there's a significance behind the, the title of your show, Four Corners. In the 1970s, there was a part of Roseau, Dominica's capital, where unemployed youth, those who had been relegated to the sidelines, they convened and they became the target of uh, state agents who felt that they were subversive. Many of them had dreadlocks and they became uh, the victims, in my view, of state persecution. And uh, it seems to me that uh, your dedication to keeping the history alive is manifested in the title to your program. And I commend you for that. And uh, again, I thank uh, our listeners for lending us some of your time. And I certainly look forward uh, to the day when we can meet uh, on neutral ground. You have led into four corners. The dread podcast. The dread podcast. Four corners. The dread podcast. Four Corners, Four Corners, The Dread Podcast. You have logged into Four Corners, The Dread Podcast, The Dread Podcast.